Hello, welcome to the video. This is Lokahol, and in this video, I want to talk about some of the scams you might encounter while playing Path of Exile and what you can do to avoid them. So, let's jump in. So, the first scam that you're going to encounter, which is the most common one, is an item swap scam. And this is when you message someone and you say, Hi, I'd like to buy your level 4 empower listed for 4x in Heist League. And they say, your level 4 in power listed in Heist League is ready for pickup and then you go to their hideout and you go to the trade window and you put in your money, they put in their little gem, you check it, it says level 4 in power, then they say something like, oops, not enough space, and then they'll cancel the trade, run to their stash quickly, pretend to be putting stuff in, then you'll come back and they'll put another in power in, you'll put in your money, you'll hit accept and then you'll check the gem and you'll see Oh no, he swapped it for a level 3 in power. You've just got scammed. So, how do you avoid this? Just check the item before you hit accept. It's pretty easy. I'm not someone who victim blames, but this one is so easily avoidable. Just hover over the item, double check what they are selling you before you hit accept. Especially if they're going to cancel the trade. Whenever someone does this, it's very suspicious. You must immediately get red flags up if someone cancels a trade before you can hit accept and then retrades you. Another version of this is the six link scam. You'll say, hi, I'd like to buy your six link carcass jack listed for one X or two X or three X. And you go to their hideout. They put in their six link carcass jack, you put in your X or whatever, and you hit accept, and then you look at it and you realize, oh crap, this is a four link, two link, it's not a six link. Guess what? You just got scammed again. This is another very, very common one, and once again, just look at the item. That's all you need to do. Hover over it, look at it, and then say, okay, I am buying the right item. So the next kind of scam, there's a few different kinds, but I'll call these like price fixing scams. What happens with this, let's say you're in a map, running around, a shavs drops on the ground and you get excited and then price check it. Go on the trade side, look at the first result, the first result says, this is worth 1x. So you say, okay cool, I'm going to list it for 1x. Someone immediately messages you, you hit accept, you get your 1x and then you know no better. When in reality, that item might have been worth 3 or 4 or 5x, but you didn't scroll down. So what some people do is they will get a whole lot of items like high-end items that are worth a fair amount that are in high demand and they will put it in their stash, list it for super low value that is not accurate and they will not sell that item. They'll just leave it there and there might actually be five or six or seven people doing this so that there's multiple results that show the incorrect price. So when you check, you'll say, oh, it's worth 1x, when in reality, it's worth 4, 5, maybe more. So to avoid this one, just scroll down a bit, check a few other results. Also, maybe search for like a 6 link. That might help you get a more realistic price. But that is a price fixing scam. It can also happen for currency and other things. Just be aware, do your research, just scroll a bit, look a bit. Don't look at the first result and know that that is the correct answer. So another kind of scam that I sort of put under the price fixing scam is when someone will try to do an item for item trade. Generally, item for item trades do not ever make these trades unless you know exactly what you're doing. I've done them in the past and even when it looked good, I regretted it. Like the items they give you just do not sell. They don't sell for what they said it will sell. Generally, this is a red flag. But what some people do is they will buy out a whole lot of a fairly cheap fairly obscure unique so i had an example where someone said hi i'd like to buy your so-and-so watches i listed for 50x something like that and he said hey instead of 50x can i give you this shield it was a like cosa day or something like that with a corruption like plus one endurance charges something like that and he said oh it's worth it's worth like 50 60 70 x and i said uh okay that's like a 10 chaos shield or something at the time he said just go look just go look it's worth like 60x and i said okay i went checked the trade site and there were like three up there all listed for 50x and i thought 
That's weird. Like a 10 chaos shield, I could just buy a hundred of them, vol them, and probably get it in like, I don't know, however many. So it just didn't really add up. What I later found out is what some people will do is they will buy some obscure unique item, they'll buy all of the ones with like a specific corruption or something like that, and then just list all of them for a ridiculous price that's not actually accurate. So if you see that, that's probably a scam. That's another form of price fixing scam. Just avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. In general, item for item trades, eh, not really worth your time. Sometimes they can be good, but generally not. Okay, so the next scam, which is not really a big one, not something you're gonna encounter often, but let's say you're in a map and you bump into Kadiro, and for once he actually is not trying to scam you. He offers you a headhunter for, I don't know, 50,000 coins. And you go to your stash and you say, oh crap, I've only got like 2,000 coins. Let me see who's selling coins. So you go on the trade site and you see, oh, there's someone selling 50,000 coins. You message them, say, hey, I'd like to buy you 50,000 coins for, I don't know, 5X or whatever. You think I'm gonna make insane profit on this because I spent 5X for the coins and I'm gonna get a headhunter. You invite them to your party, they accept, and then you go to their hideout and they go to your hideout, they run in your portal and they buy your headhunter from Kadira and you feel bad. So a lot of people will say to avoid this scam, before you go out and buy those coins, you cover your waypoint with a whole lot of impossible terrain so that if they come into your hideout, they actually can't reach your map device. And this does work, but there might be gaps in it. It might just not work. It also completely messes up your hideout if you've got a nice one. What I suggest instead, which is a much, much simpler solution, is to buy this thingy, Tower Apparatus. You just drop that on top of your map device. They cannot reach your portals no matter what they do. Another thing that's cool about this is it works really nicely with the big map device. It looks cool. So if you have space for the big map device, this is a kind of way to lock it if you want. So if you swap between map device one, that kind of is like a key that locks your map device. And then if you open it, then you can enter the portals. But yeah, just get this. I think you get it from Nico for about 77,000 coins. Right over here. Yep, 77,000 favor. Easy, clean solution to your problem. After they've try to scam you, if they do try to scam you, you can just delete it. Very easy, but this makes your portals completely inaccessible. Another kind of scam. So this one is instead of you trying to buy something and them swapping out the item, what happens is let's say you have a big ticket item like a doctor and you try to sell it, you'll say, list it for 6X, Someone will say, I would like to buy your doctor for 6X and they will come to the trade window and they'll drop in 1x and like 50c or something like that. Let's say you listed it for six and a half x and you'll hit accept and you just got scammed because you didn't look at the currency they put in the trade window. I have sold quite a few doctors in the past and this happens every single time. I don't think I've ever sold a doctor without someone trying to scam me like three or four times before you actually get someone who puts in the correct amount. So what you can do with this, right? You can either cancel the trade, kick them and leave or what you can do is you cancel the trade and then come back and put in a different item, a different card that sort of looks like the doctor. So this is like a reverse scam. If you see blood bond, this sort of kind of looks like the doctor, not quite, but what you can do even, you don't have to even cancel the trade. You can just wait for them to put in the currency. If they put in the wrong amount, you drop in that card, hit accept, if you're lucky, maybe they'll hit accept and you scam them back, which I mean, scamming sucks, but those people deserve it. If they're trying to scam you and you scam them back, then tough shit. they deserve it. Anyway, so that's a good one to remember. If you're selling a high ticket item, make sure that they put in the right amount of money before you hit accept. Then there's another kind of scam. Again, this one is pretty uncommon. It's unlikely you'll run into it, but just be aware I would call this like a service scam, right? So let's say that someone is selling a base, like a helmet with a really good enchant and they're offering a fractured fossil service. So for this, they'd say, okay, give me a fractured fossil and the fossils you want and then maybe a service fee of like 1X. You'll give them that and then they say, okay, I'll copy your helmet. 
and then give you the result. So they might do that and then just take your money and run. Or they might fracture, get something really good and just keep it. Now, again, this is not something that's really common. I wouldn't worry too much about this one. And there's nothing you can really do to, I don't know, prevent the scam because you're giving them the currency. You're just, you have to trust them. What you could do is ask for collateral and say, okay, I'm going to give you my fossils and the money. You give me like 5x. But then you're kind of putting the ball in their court and you could scam them. So they're going to have to trust you because if they fracture the item and it comes out completely garbage, you might say, well, I'm not going to give you your 5x back or whatever. So, eh, sometimes you just have to trust people. Most people in PoE are very trustworthy, honest, good people. So just, I don't know. When it comes to this sort of thing, you're just going to have to hope that you don't get scammed. And if you do, I don't know. Report them to GGG. So another kind of service scam is Einha. I think some people will do like duping tricks where they'll dupe a base and split it or something like that. Again, just like the fractured fossil, you give them the money and the beast. And of course they could just run away with the stuff. You're just gonna have to trust them. Another one is sort of more obscure which is a like Verici bench syndicate thing where let's say someone says I'm selling a level 3 Verici for 1x and you say okay cool I want to try get three white sockets in my item so join the party they you drop your item on the ground they pick it up and they run away again if you're trusting people on global not to victim blame but just don't. Most people are going to be honest and trustworthy, but this is just way too risky. The last kind of service scam is a crafting scam. Again, not very likely, and there are ways to avoid this. Let's say someone has like a additional curse craft. I know that doesn't exist, but just for example, some hard to get craft that you want on your chess piece and you don't have it yet. So you'll go on global and say, hey, does anyone have this craft? I will pay you this amount. And someone says, okay, cool, I've got it. You enter their hideout, you trade them your item because that's the only way for them to craft on it. You give them the money and they kick you from the party and disconnect and your item is gone. Again, this is very silly if you do this. There are people on the forums who have reputable trading and crafting services. so. If you need something like that, go on the forums, search for an actual forum post where someone says, here are the services I provide, this is what they cost, this is how much this craft costs. And if you see a lot of comments below where someone says, you know, yep, got my item, paid, it was fast, easy, give that person a message. I think there's a few really big names. The only one that springs to mind is Tree of Dead. I don't know if he still does crafting services, but he was like the main guy for a long time. Maybe he's still doing it, but just check, look on the forums, find someone reputable. And this also goes for boss killing services. So some people will say, hey, I'll kill your Cyrus 8 for 50 chaos. And you say, cool, you give them the money, they go in your portal, they kill Cyrus and they take that level, I don't know, level one awakened spell echo that's worth like 60x and run away with it. That sucks. That kind of thing does happen, but there are people with reputable boss kill services on the forums. Go find those people and do it that way. Don't just trust random people you meet in global. Most of the time, again, they're not gonna scam you, but they might. So find people with a forum post with a whole lot of plus rep comments saying that they were quick and affordable and easy, and that's the safest way to do it. There's not too many other scams I can think of. There's also like faded item scams where you'll want to buy a faded upgraded version of a unique and someone will put in the normal base downgraded version and you hit accept. Eh, doesn't really happen that often, but something to be aware of. Another thing that's pretty common is let's say you're buying, I don't know, 600 chaos for 3x and you put your 3x in and they put in what looks like a full inventory worth of chaos orbs, you hit accept and then you realize, oh wait, quite a few of those stacks of what was supposed to be 10 chaos orbs are actually one. So it looked like you got 600 chaos, but you actually got like 
550 or 500 because half the stacks were just ones instead of tens. Just be aware of that. So a couple of years ago, I was playing Standard League. It was during Synthesis. I wasn't having fun in Synthesis and I was on Global and some noob guy said, hey, what's this item worth? And I said, I messaged him. I said, hey man, instead of asking what that specific item is worth, why don't I teach you how to price check an item? And he was super grateful. From there, we became friends. We chatted for a while. He had a whole lot of questions that he would ask me about and I was happy to answer. Cut to about three months later, I think it was during Legion League. This guy out of nowhere links me 17 mirrors and a couple thousand exalts. And I say, uh, what? How did you get that? And at first he kind of was a bit eh, coy, wouldn't tell me exactly what happened. And I said, look, man, if it's RMT, I'm not going to report you. Just tell me. I just want to know. And eventually he opened up and he said, well, what happened was about a month ago, I started saving up for a level four in power. It took me about a week to save up the four or five X. I don't know what the price was at the time. It took him a week to save up. He went finally after waiting and grinding, went to go buy one and someone scammed him and gave him a level three in power. And of course, being a new player, this was devastating to him. So he messaged GGG and GGG's response was sort of like, eh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. Just be careful next time. And he was so upset by this that he said, well, if GGG is not going to do anything, then I might as well start scamming too, because there are no consequences. I don't know if that's entirely true. I think there are scammers that do get banned. I suspect he was eventually banned, but he started scamming and he was making 100, 200 X a day just with that empower scam. So if you're ever wondering why do people scam, it's because it is probably the most profitable way to play the game ever. Like a noob can make 20 mirrors in a month doing this. So I'm um, obviously do not scam people. Scamming sucks, but that's why people do it. People with no morals who don't mind taking advantage of other people do it. It's crazy profit. But yeah, I'm not trying to tempt you into getting into it. Anyway, I believe that's the end of the video. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. And if you're watching my videos, it's unlikely you're subscribed. So please make sure you're subscribed if you want to watch more silly videos like this and also music and all those things. Give me a follow on Twitch at twitch.tv slash lockerhole. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. The deeper you go, tick, 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 the more claustrophobic it feels. Ah!